Hey everyone, this is Vicki Messy Table Studio. This is just going to be a little quick update on some different projects I've been working on. So the first one is I made, a, I guess I found a second one that's empty. I made these books a while ago and I've been working in this for a couple weeks. So I thought I would give you a little flip. It's a doodle book and this is all um, jelly printed cardstock that's bound into a book using white duct tape. I got these patterns off of people on Instagram that do doodles, uh, pattern doodles. So I tried some of theirs on. I really like this one. And I love this one. As you can tell, it is jelly printed because there's variations in the colors. Here are two more. This one will make people kind of crazy. <laughs> And this one's just little tiny hash marks inside the circles. And of course leaves, because like I can't not do leaves. Then we have the squiggle lines with the little hash marks in between. I love this one, even though it is relatively just benign, but I like it. And I really like this one too. This is also orange jelly printed paper. And then there's this one. Kind of look like fish to me or slugs. <clears throat> this is another Opti piece. And that is the end of that book. It was finished on March the 29th. I don't remember when I started. I didn't write a date in it, so I don't know. Probably the beginning of March or the middle of March is when I started it. I worked on it almost every single day. So there's that book. When I finished this one, I put it away. And then I found this book which is a Fabriano, I think it's a sample book for Fabriano papers. These are not watercolor papers. So I decorated the book by taking some of these um, watercolor doodles that I did on, I think it was some kind of a rice paper and then cut it down so it would fit on the, the book. And I didn't want to waste it. This is the bottom half of the print in the here because it was really tall. So I started this March the 30th. I went through and looked at different patterns on Pinterest in my sketchbook folder and my doodles folder. And on the back side of every page, because the pages, it bled through, let me say this, it bled through using the two pens I used on this, it bled through to this side. So I thought, well, I'll cover up the sides with colored paper strips that I was using for something else. And then I thought, well, I can do both. I can glue a bunch of papers, uh, pages together and then doodle on the front and use the back for miscellaneous strips of paper I had left over. So I'm trying to use some of my scraps. Again, these are all pictures from um, Pinterest. And then these are my jelly, pl jelly plate items or stamping items. This was with a small cylindrical cardboard thing and then I just watercolored inside it. This is a photocopy. This is not the original. Again, more Pinterest things. This is a carved sunflower I did in um, Carved December of last year. More rubber stamps from the ones I carved. And I'm currently working on this one right here. So I have my magnetic um, I don't know what you call it, bookmark, <laughs> magnetic bookmark holding my place. Um, this one is already, you know, but it it's because I glued the pages together. So what I do is I just put Mr. Inchworm on top of it. <laughs> All right, so the next thing is I ordered some methyl, pure methyl cellulose that I'm going to be using in a project, but I had to wait for it to come. Um... I am still waiting for a Japanese starch to do um, mamogami paper because the stuff that I have hanging up, that's been hanging up since I made that video, is still very oily with olive oil. So I overdid the olive oil and you can try to smash it with clean paper all you like, but that stuff's just not coming out. 
So I follow these nice, nice greasy prints. <laughs> so I'm going to try to see if I can't use them in something. But I bought this to try with an experiment for something else. The other stuff for the Mamagami paper is supposed to be here tomorrow. And then I will be able to do another thing. All right, so then... I was in a chat where I asked some questions from sewing people, and they told me to buy this stuff to do this stuff. It, I have had this sitting on my desk forever because I want to complete this. I really want to make those hearts. So now I know how to go forward. So I've got several projects in the works, and I want to work on them as soon as I can. I've been knitting dishcloths for a friend and I'm almost the end of that. So when I get done with that, then I will be able to move on to something else because I am very concentrated on doing that so I can get them back to her and be done. Um, I will probably have another video later this week with using some of these items that I ordered because I've got like three videos in mind with everything you've seen here and I wanna get them done. I wanna try and use them and show you in the video how they go. Now, when I say how they go, I don't mean <laughs> necessarily successful, but it'll be a process video, and we'll see how it goes. All right, everybody, that's all I've got, so I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully later this week. Bye.